Hi friends, it's Victor Costa, Peace, Love and Muscles. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having an outstanding day. I posted this photo, uh, or these photos, on Instagram during the past week, um, and I also wrote a little bit of commentary on how I'm treated differently when I appear different um, when I go out in public. Of course, uh, the guy that you see with the glasses and the hat and the shirt on, a little bit of a baggy sort of appearance, um, is uh, relatively anonymous. I mean, no one is really uh, paying very much attention to that guy. And then um, the guy on the left side of your screen uh, gets a lot of attention and, and a lot of respect and a lot of recognition and conversation and connection with people. And so the, the post was really to connect with you guys out there uh, who are chameleons like me. Uh, if you have this sort of alter ego, right? You've got this uh, undercover look and then you have this other alter ego that appears a little bit more exciting, right? A little bit more attractive. And how you notice or recognize the difference in how people treat you. And so um, I was actually uh, pretty uh, astounded to find out that a lot of people missed what that post was about. In fact, some people said, Vic, all you need is a better fitted shirt. So, so the point of the post wasn't about a better fitting shirt that I could just go down to any of the shops in Manhattan and buy or open up any magazine, point to what I would like and just have it sent to my home. Can easily do that. The point of it was to just make the recognition and a commentary about how we treat each other and how we offer respect to sometimes uh, people who we find attractive without even understanding what the package is about and discounting the person who is sort of more anonymous thinking that that's all they are um, and, and not worthy of finding out what's going on underneath the hood, if you will. So, so that's what this post was about. This post wasn't about asking for, um, for advice. My wife is actually a fashion designer. Uh, and I've got access to some of the top fashion people in New York who, who are friends of mine all the way at the top of these companies. And so it really wasn't about that. This was a, wasn't about fashion at all. This was about treating people the right way. In fact, somebody went as far as to quote um, a, a very famous fashion designer and, and suggested something that um, uh, fashion or uh, a well-dressed person is a sign of good manners. And I retorted, uh, treating people with respect is a sign of good manners, uh, and that comes from my mom. So, uh, guys, just wanted to connect with you on this topic. You know, if you have an alter ego like me, if you're a chameleon like me, um, where you notice that that um, you're treated very differently, I just wanted to, you know, connect with you on that topic. Uh, let you know that I understand what that's like. Let you know that, um, you know, uh, I recognize that I'm treated very differently. I can be. Uh, if I'm going to the gym, which happens to be in my building, and I'm wearing a t-shirt, uh, and I go down there and I happen to have contact lenses on or I have no glasses at all, the very same person that will see me earlier in the day with the glasses and the hat and the uh, uh, clothing on won't recognize me, yet they'll talk to me when I'm on my way to the gym. The very same person. Uh, Hi, how you doing? Oh, you headed to the gym? Oh, interesting. Yeah, I'm the same guy that was coming in with the groceries before that you let the... Uh, you let the elevator door shut on earlier. So, so let's treat everybody as if they're both people because they are. We can be anybody we want to be. The guy on the right is the guy on the left. The guy on the left is the guy on the right. And uh, that's who we all are. Peace, love, and muscles. Respect each other. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.